Hello YouTube fans, it's your boy Brad here with another video, another video on the uh, the DIY portable power pack build. Uh, I just did the last upgrade to the power pack and now uh, there's the power pack, there's the old 18 amp hour, show that, uh, 12 volt. 18 amp hour battery that I took out that wasn't keeping up. It's a new battery. Matter of fact, I have two new batteries. I'm going to have to sell now. There's nothing wrong with the batteries, but uh, as you notice in my previous videos, uh, once I got to about a quarter power on my, my mono light, which I have set up over here, it's right there. That's a uh, Godox SK300. It just was not keeping up. So, Here's the new bill. Uh, what I did is I ordered off of eBay, and I have been looking at YouTube videos on these particular batteries, and I had looked at a lot of different options of trying to figure out how could I make this thing work. Uh, and I found these super sales that went on on sale again. I guess they get these in from time to time. I don't know what they they're repurposed out of what I don't know, but these are some awesome batteries. Uh, I'm coming in a little closer there. Four Hardaway 38120 HP 3.2 volt 8 amp hour Lifey uh, lithium batteries 25C. That's a pretty good output. 200 amp 12 volts. Uh, you get four uh, for uh, $43 plus shipping. Uh, let you see the seller there. Uh, these came in. They were they they were. Uh, at their nominal voltage of 3.2 volts uh, all of them and so I had to charge them up uh, once I got them all installed so that's what's inside uh, changing switching this out from the big seal lead acid battery to these batteries and these lifey batteries are really much lighter uh, the battery along, this seal lead acid battery weighs 11 pounds, 8 ounces by itself. Um, with the case, I didn't weigh it, so we would say it was really getting close to 13, 15 pounds probably with the inverter and everything in the case. Now the case only weighs 7 pounds, 8 ounces. That is a whole lot lighter. I lost four pounds uh, switching to these batteries, and these batteries are so much more powerful. Uh, I'm going to show you what's inside the case here, real quick. Uh, show you what's outside the case. I'm going to show you this one little piece here. Uh, right here, I have a, a XT60 plug. I'm charging this on my uh, on a uh, balance charger, I'm into RC hobby stuff, so I already have balance charge. You have to switch it over to Lifey batteries to do this charging. But uh, so I have an XT60 plug on that side, and then uh, my friend and I we wired in a balance plug. Now I see on YouTube that some with with just being four batteries, and these batteries are hooked into series. They're uh, 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 hooked up in series. Uh, if you want to know about that, how to do that, there's plenty of videos on YouTube on doing that. Just be careful uh, because, again, these batteries are very powerful uh, if you arc them or something like that. So uh, be careful with that. Um, and so we went ahead and, and installed uh, balance wire so I can balance charge them. But, again, I say that one of the videos said it was unnecessary since there's only four batteries. Show you the inside of the case here. Don't laugh. Uh, I'm gonna bring my camera in a little closer. Excuse me. And you see the batteries. Well, let me get it tilted down. Huh. There are the batteries. Uh, I found on Thingiverse. That's a website where you can go and do find 3D printing uh, free downloads that people create stuff on Thingiverse and they had someone had and I, I wish I had the person name but I will link 
the link below on this particular uh, top piece and bottom piece that you can uh, print if you have a 3D printer. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can also uh, on eBay buy these spacers. They're these little spacers and you can use them. But I like this because it completely covers the top and the bottom piece here is completely uh, covered. So when you, when you put the batteries together, when you put it together in the battery pack, it as as a series and make it a pack that you don't have to worry about it touching anything. I did put it in this little plastic bag. I know I wish I had some shrink uh, bags or something this big but I don't but this works fine and then I put a big zip tie around it to hold this together but and you can see the bunch of wires there's nothing gonna arc in there but the wires are just from the balance lead here coming the balance lead coming out of the top those are the batteries. Uh, again, you got to buy the bars too, and I will put a link where I bought the uh, the bars. Do I have one? Uh, I think I put it on, but you got to have the little bars because these have screw heads on them. And you see here. I'll go back to the piece of paper. Uh, it comes with the screws, and you got to have your bars to hook it positive and negative. This mentioned this is the neck I will mention this is negative side of the battery this is the positive side of the battery so don't get those confused when you start putting them together or things might not go well alrighty that's the inside of the case close that back up and I, I brought the leads to the outside that way I don't have to open up the case to charge the batteries I just hook in with my balance with my uh, balance charger and charge them from there back up here and I'm gonna go ahead and hook up at full charge just to mention it's at 13.5 volts 13.8 volts somewhere in there uh, at once the batteries are fully charged if your inverter can't handle this this inverter will handle up to 15 volts uh, down to 10.7 um, it is not a very expensive inverter I don't know whether you guys seen the inverter I bought it was about the cheapest one but there were reviews there are reviews on YouTube on this particular inverter uh, actually it's the bigger one I think it's a 600 watt and there's a view on a thousand watt and it works fine it's a pure sine wave inverter uh, mention this right now if I had to do it again I would probably put a 600 watt inverter uh, this is only 300 watts so I am going to hook this up to my mono light and uh, guys uh, it made a big difference undoubtedly without question uh, it's night and day the difference here uh, even the voltage you can see I'm at it shows 120 volts there I'm not sure that's gonna sit there let me see how I'm gonna do this cuz I want you to see I got it hooked up to my mono light and I wanted to use the amp meter so let me see my watt meter you can kind of see the voltage over here to the left. Move everything back a little bit. Maybe I can get a better angle on that. This is in shadow. Pull that forward. There we go. Now we see the voltage of both. We see the volts over here of the battery. And over to our right, we see the volt uh, coming out of the inverter. I'm going to switch this over to watts. See there's zero. Turn the mono light on and okay, I think we're good to go there. So I'm gonna just tell you where the mono light is set, and you see that this is a vast improvement if you watch my other uh, video prior to this with using the seal LED asset battery, the difference. I'm at 116 power. You see our volts over here drop to 
but you want to get that little drop off. So we put on almost, like I said, 40 volts. Our voltage drop over here is 12 1. I'm going to go up to a quarter power. I'm try to do this quickly. I mean, 1 8 power. I keep doing that. 1 8 power. About 45 watts. Do it again. 46 watts. You can see our voltage there to the left. We're at 11.8. Go up to one quarter power. Let everything settle. Oh, the voltage didn't even move that time. Oh, there it goes. So we're pulling 86 watts. And our voltage drops to about 11.9. Now we're going to go to half power. And remember on the still lead acid battery at a quarter power, we are already getting an alarm from our inverter because of the voltage, because the voltage was dropping to 10.7. And at that point, if you notice, we were at 11. 8 or 11.7 will hold vote over that makes a big difference again we're at half power that was 73 watts And we're still about, right about 11.9, 11.8. We want our voltage here to the left, 11.5 that time. And we're going to go to full power. Now we're at full power. 11.5. I think we were about 150 watts. I'm trying to watch both of those. 127 watts. Watch our voltage here real quick. Eleven five, and that hangs in there pretty good. You hear our recycle on our on the mono light. It's pretty quick. I'm still at full power. Now I'm going to try to go a little faster to kind of let you see how that holds. It will kind of drop out, but I think that's more the inverter. It's really the inverter that's having a problem. It will drop out if I go pretty fast. We hit 240 volts, got really close. Uh, the light on the uh, <laughs> the mono light, everything you saw, everything powered down because of the limitations of my inverter. Again, I, I wish I had it at 600 watts. If I do a build or, or find a a one cheap, I will upgrade this inverter. But like I said, I was cycling pretty fast there at full power. I'm gonna drop it down to half. There we go. We're at half power now. And just as fast as I can go at half power, you see we just brought it right at 100 watts. There you, you hear the fan on the inverter running. And uh, everything holds up very well there. Uh, again, guys, I just want to show that vast improvement there on everything and the way it works and how it works. And um, 
I would recommend again if you decide to do a build forget the seal lead acid battery and go with these uh, much more power much more output uh, yeah you got to do a little bit of building on the battery but there's plenty of videos out there on putting these in series um, like I said I will link everything below uh, where I got the batteries from where I got the uh, 3D printed uh, top piece and bottom piece and uh, the little uh, connectors that go with it I can't think what they're called right now the bars and uh, try that yourself uh, works really well last recommendation <laughs> get a 600 watt or somewhere in there um, inverter uh, I try hooking up both of my lights to the inverter let me mention that and it does not like it it's just it's just uh, like I said just not enough watts there I think the inverter is fine but it's not enough watt but I was only going to use it with one light anyway uh, that's it guys hope that uh, helps someone out uh, got any questions just hit me up down below and uh, y'all have a blessed day